hello everyone today in this video we'll be discussing the module 5 of 18 mat dip 31 so uh, in this uh, module we have uh, two topics which is the first one is the linear equations and uh, the second is the bernoulli's uh, bernoulli's equation okay so these two other topics we'll be discussing uh, uh, some examples and the type of questions which can come under the topics and if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel the first topic is the exact uh, differential equation uh, so observe the steps carefully okay so we'll be given with two equations here this is the first one and this is the second one okay one with dx and another with, uh, another one with dy okay so you have to take one as m and another one as n okay understood right two equations one with x one with y the one with x is uh, taken as m and the one with y is taken as um, n okay after you have taken m and n exchange okay what you will do after you have taken m and n exchange exchange what if m you have taken as uh, x right you have to do with dy if n you have taken as y you have to uh, do with dx okay what i mean is after i've uh, written m and n do uh, partial differentiation of m with y and partial differentiation of n with x when you do that you'll get these two answers if they are equal that means it's an exact uh, differential equation okay once you've got the exact differential equation then the solution is this one m dx plus n of y dy n of y means just include the terms which has y in it only y okay means it can be 2y any constant multiplied by y but only y terms should be there so if it is that the case only 2y you will take and you'll take the constants as well so you'll take here as 2y plus 1 and differentiate it with respect to x and y what answer you get equate it with c that's the final answer let's see another problem here we have uh, this equation and uh, take the m value as this one and n value as this one exchange it MD, mdy and uh, n by dx so when you do that you, if you get the two answers as same that's the uh, exact equation and uh, after that what you have to do you have to do this one um, mdx plus n of y dy as you can observe in uh, n we don't have any y term but y square term is there that we can't take because uh, along with that x term is also there only y term should be there that only we will take so here no uh, only y term is there uh, y square is there we can't take that so we'll not take anything here so the, that will be zero here and then differentiate this one to get the final answer Moving on, we have the next topic, which is the exact uh, e equation reducible to the exact form. You have to solve this one. Here also we'll do the same thing, m and n. And here what happens is when you do del m uh, by del y and uh, del n by del x, you will, will not get the same answer. In that case, what you have to do, you have to take the closest term. Closest term means 2x plus 2y is there, right? If you take two common, what you'll get? x plus 2y. And you'll be getting this one after you do the subtraction. Okay, first you have to do del m by del y minus del n by del x. Subtract this one, you'll get this one. Then take two common, you'll get n into x plus 2y. Now this term you have to compare. Okay, this term which you got after subtraction. This you have to compare with this one and this one. Uh, not uh, that one, actually this one and this one. m and n, which is more close to this one. This is more close, right? So what you have to do, you have to choose n. You have selected n. Then what you do? 1 by n into subtraction of this one means this term by n you will get one answer here this is known as integrating factor okay uh, this term raised to e power that is the integrating factor okay whatever answer you get that you have to differentiate here okay you got 2 by x differentiate uh, means integrate 2 by x dx and uh, that will be your e power um, some answer you will get in log and if you simplify you will get the answer as x square so x square is the integrating factor now you have to multiply the equation by x square multiply m by x square and n by x square after you have done that you will get uh, two equations and then you have to do the del m uh, by del y and del n, uh, del n by del x so when you do that you will get the same answers here and uh, if you get the same answer you can carry out the rest of the equation as uh, as we have discussed in the previous question the, it's an exact equation so just do the same formula as you have applied in the previous question and you'll get the answer okay let's consider another problem here in here we have we have the m and uh, n terms so we'll take m and n terms as such then we'll try to partially differentiate if it's not exact we'll find out the integrating factor how do we do that subtract these both and once answer you get which is close to m or n that will find out if it's close to m divided by m the uh, result which we got here then one answer you will get here that answer you have to take in the e power and integrate it when you do that you'll get an answer that you have to multiply with m and n okay then carry out the same thing as we have discussed earlier get the final answer okay and the last topic is about the bernoulli's differential equation if it's of the form dy by dx plus py is equal to qy power n that's the bernoulli's form okay so let's uh, discuss an example here here we have dy by dx uh, plus uh, y by x is equal to y square x okay so here it's of the form uh, dy by dx py where p is equal to 1 by x so this is py qy power n y square and q is nothing but x so 
let solve the Bernoulli's form. So here you have y square, right? We don't want y square. We'll divide, uh, divide the whole equation by y square. So we'll get this uh, equation in this form, and then we'll take p, q, and uh, y. Okay. So in do that, uh, I can observe that um, the equation is not of the Bernoulli's form, so we'll be taking uh, 1 by y as t. So it will be 1 by y square dy by dt is equal to dt by dx. So this will be dt by dx. Okay, and 1 by y will be t. So do that and convert that into the uh, t terms, we'll get this equation. And now we can take the equation in the form of Bernoulli's. Okay, so when you do that, uh, what we have here is um, minus 1 by q, um, is mi minus 1 by x as p, minus x as q. After you got p and q, apply the same formula e power integral p dx and what your answer you get, that's the integrating factor and the solution is nothing but t into this one is equal to integral of q into integrating factor plus c. Substitute the answer, uh, means the values and find out the uh, integration, you'll get the final answer. Then substitute back what was uh, t as the uh, equation, okay. So this is a required equation. Let's uh, discuss another example. Here what we have, dy by dx minus py is equal to uh, q into uh, y power n uh, means x into pi uh, y power n okay this of the Bernoulli's form since we have y cube here divide the whole equation by y cube so we have this term here now take 1 by y cube y square is equal to t when we do that we will get the uh, uh, dx uh, dt by dx terms also substitute that in 1 so we will get the equation in this form the t terms and rearrange it to get the equation in the Bernoulli's form after that take p and q values apply the same formula e power integral p dx so we'll get the answer in this form the final answer will be always in this form t into e power integral p dx is equal to integral of q into e power p dx dx okay after that uh, substitute the values and find out the final answer so these are two important type of questions in uh, under this module the first one is the solution of the first order and second order uh, linear differential equation second is the uh, bernoulli's equation okay so that's all for this module and thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one